Well, hello, welcome again to our reading of selections from Prometheus Bound, and I got up to, I think, line um, 668. And Io has been relating her misfortunes, and we've heard that she's had these dreams in the night, that Zeus has fallen in love with her, wants her to go off to a meadow with him and she's related this to her father who finally has been told accurately that he has to get rid of her out of the house and we finished off with uh, if he chooses not to then uh, a fire-eyed bolt of lightning will come from Zeus which will destroy his in his entire race so he cont she continues on with the story so toyoisdi pestes loxiu mantumasin so, uh, having been persuaded, Eris passive participle from Patho here, by such prophecies of Loxius, ex alesen from ex elauno, it's that irregular verb, but very common. Uh, so he drove me out. And now this is crassus for chi um, apo clay so, or claysdo. It's to lock me out. So he locked me out from the house. Uh, he, Akon, against, so against his will, he drove me against my will out and locked me out from the house. Uh, Kusan Akon. Greek loves to have these this, this particular uh, word like Hekon and Akon. Um, the, uh, uh, Euripides is very fond of using these two together in different cases. Example of polypatoton, although they're both participles here, this is feminine participle, agreeing with me, and akon is the nominative participle um, referring back to her father. So he, against his will, drove out me against my will and locked me out from the house. Al ep enen kasde min dios kalinos pros beyond presen tardi. Uh, but the literally the bridal, the Kalinos, the bridal of Zeus, perhaps the the um, compulsion from Zeus uh, compelled him. This is from Epi plus uh, Anankasdo. So compelled him, Nin for Auton. So compelled him to do these things, Prosbian by force. Euthus de Morphe Kyphrenes diastrophoi, a son. And immediately my appearance and my mind were diastrophoi, it's a funny word here, it, it means twisted, um, almost well, changed beyond recognition. So that might be a way of translating that here, changed beyond recognition, literally were, were twisted. Uh, Kerastis ker, uh, de, and um, it's something like, a, as you see, uh, you know, a way I, I am a horned maiden, Kerastis. Uh, so I've grown horns, as you see. Uh, Christes from Creo, this is the, um, it's aorist participle here, aorist passive, having been stung. Um, by an oxystomo muopi, by a fly, literally with a sharp mouth or perhaps sharp um, beak, perhaps with a sharp stinger. The word is very rare. It simply means that the fly is biting her um, in an unpleasant way. Um, so, aison is the main verb here. It's from a iso to dart. So alpha and then iota. So I darted, I began to dart from a iso in a mad with a maddened skirtemati. Now a skirtema is a skipping. So literally with maddened skipping, because she's been turned into a heifer, so she's skipping along. So having been been uh, having been stung by this this fly with its sharp beak. I um, I darted with maddened uh, gait, perhaps maddened skipping, to the well-watered 
rios stream of Kenkrii and the crane and the another word well for the stream um, of of Lerni. The this is pro probably Kenkrii, uh, which is a village southwest of Argos. So to the well watering streams of Kenkrii and the crane. Um, the stream of Lerni, uh, Bukolos de Gegenes Akratos Orgon, uh, Orgain Argos, Homate Pupnois Hosois de Orcos, Tus Emus Catastibus. And the earth born, uh, Bukolos is a, a herdsman, so the earth born herdsman. Who was Akratos? Now this is alpha privative plus that kratia root of uncontrolled. So, um, um, so without limit or uh, in his orge. So either limitless in in anger or in, intemperate intemperate of character. It's sometimes translated for orge. Argos. So he. Uh, this is from Homarteo. This is the imperfect from Homarteo, if you're looking it up. It means to accompany. So it was keeping company with me. Understood. Um, uh, De Dorcos from De Dorca. It's a, one of those verbs. It's perfect in form but present in meaning. So it, this is the participle from that, De Dorca. So he was staring at me, literally with his frequent eyes, with his many eyes. He was, uh, so with his many eyes, looking at me, he was keeping me company on my paths, on my journeys, perhaps. Uh, this is from Stib uh, Stibos. Now, we're not told who sent the many-eyed Argos, presumably it was Hera. And his task was literally to keep an eye, he's got um, many of them, to keep an eye on her. Uh, his death is only very briefly related here. The story is that Hermes charmed him to sleep and then cut off his head. And thereafter Hera sent a gadfly to harass poor Io further. Apopros doketos dalton, and we get um, some daggers here. I'll leave you to look at the commentaries on this. I'll just translate what's here. So um, the the apopros doketos goes with moros, an unexpected. Prosdokio is to expect. This is an adjective here. An unexpected doom or death or doom. The afnidios probably something like suddenly. Uh, Aposteresen from Aposterio deprived out on him to sane of life. So we're getting uh, articular infinitive here. Deprived him of life, but I, um, the the one who was Oistroplex, this is from Oistros, the gadfly, and Plex from Pleso to strike, but I, the one who was smitten by the gadfly, uh, I was driven by a divine mastigi from uh, mastix, meaning a whip or perhaps scourge here. So by a divine scourge, I, the one um, uh, smitten by the gadfly, my I am driven, gain progress from land to land. Clues ta prakthenta. You have heard what has happened, the things which have taken place. A de ekes a pen hoti loi pon ponon saying mine. So if now we've got echo here with an infinitive in the sense of you are able. So if you can. So if you are able to speak whatsoever um, thing is remaining of my troubles. Say mine imperative, indicate them, tell me. Mede nor sun thalpe me, and now oiktisas is a 
is from Oit Tisdo. It's to it's an aorist participle here. Uh, so do not, in pity, do not having taken pity on me, do not soothe me, from Dalpo, uh, with false words, with false accounts. And she finishes with this little. Um, uh, uh, little couple of uh, lines here. No same aga iskis donenai femi sun thetus logus. For I say that sun thetus, literally things that are put together, made up, hence fictitious. Uh, for I say that fictitious words are a um, the uh, no same. Iskiston, so literally most disgraceful uh, illness. So, so for I say that uh, fictitious words are the foulest sickness. So we get a little nomic. That's the word I was looking for. A little nomic statement at the end here. Now the chorus at this stage now respond, and uh, their response is. One of some of some degree of horror, ia ia, apeke few, and the meter changes here, of course, as well because they're very you now excited. Ia, so alas, alas, apeke. Well, that means go away, <laughs> uh, alas. So oh ah, go away, alas. Upoti, uh, ud upot. So in these coral sections, especially when they're very excited, you get repetition of words. So, upoth hod upot. So, never, never in this way. Um, this is from Yukio to pray. Um, was I praying or did I pray uh, for uh, Xenus? Now, I've got to go to the next page here. Uh, Uh, now, molestai logus. Now, this molestai is again, uh, it's from the future from Blosko. Blosko, the future is molumai. You get a contraction here. And this is molestai. So, this is a future middle to come. So, I, I never, never did I pray for such xenus logus, for such strange words. Molestai to be about to come uh, as a koan eman into my hearing or possibly my ear. A koa has both those meanings. It can mean an ear or it can mean hearing. I think. So I never, I never wished, I never prayed for such strange words to come into my hearing. Nor um, hodi in this way. Uh, dus the artakai dus oystra goes with pamata. And there's problems here, you can see from the obelisks, again you need to look at the commentaries on here to see the variant readings and things, I just do the best I can with this. Nor um, pains, nor sufferings that are that are so dus theata, difficult to behold, and dus oyster. Now the oist root here is coming from the future of Pharaoh. Oist, Pharaoh has the future oiso. So its meaning is difficult to bear. So nor um, with sufferings so difficult to behold and difficult to bear. Frightful uh, lumata, this is outrages. So frightful outrages. Now for psukane, uh, m many modern editors read tupsane, from tupto to strike. So these fearful um, outrages, uh, so Tupsane are about to uh, strike my soul and then with a double-edged or double-pronged goad, kentron or whip, goad is probably good here. So there's, the, there are problems here with these lines but that's the roughly the meaning of it. So, uh, for neither pains so difficult to see and difficult to bear, and terrifying outrages, 
So I, this is a future infinity after this praying. I did so, nor did I pray for such things to strike my soul with um, two pronged, with a two pronged goad. Eo, eo. Now, of course, this is uh, Moira Moira. Now, of course, this is a slight pun here because Eo me is a cry of woe, alas, or something, but it's also the name of Io. Uh, so, alas, alas, your fate, your fate. Uh, uh, so, alas for your fate, I think you'd say here. Uh, Pef Pefrica, this is from Friso. We get our word bristle from this um, uh, in English. This is a perfect. So, uh, it's literally, I have shuddered, having looked upon the praxis, well, perhaps the plight here, of Io use. Now Prometheus now says, it's a slightly um, almost comic line here, he says proiges dunasdes kai fobu player tis a. So you have, you, indeed, you are lamenting, you are groaning proi too early and you are full of fear. Episkes, hold back, estan, until pros mathais, until you might learn in addition, also, taloipa, the remaining things. In other words, you ain't heard nothing yet. Lege, says the chorus, speak, teach us, explain it to us. Tois nosu si toi, gluku toloi ponalgos, pruxepistas thy toros. Now the toy here is indeed or something. You, you can get toy in these nomic statements, but it, it could just mean uh, indeed it is pleasant, it is sweet, so it is pleasant. Uh, it is a nice thing for those who are in trouble, literally for those who are diseased. Uh, this is from Pro Ex Epistemi. So Epistemi, we've seen from before, I think, to know in advance thoroughly. So it is a pleasing thing for those who are in trouble to know thoroughly beforehand, and then the Toros is accurately, uh, the, their remaining algos, their remaining grief. And so in the next section, Prometheus is going to tell Io and the Chorus what's coming next. And we'll save that for the next recording.